Good morning, everyone. First off, uh, I did promise a few people that I would do a, a sound test for this wonderful thing right here. Blackstar ID Core 100, two by 12, uh, with the effects loop in stereo. So I got that going on over there. But uh, just to get the formalities out of the way, my name is, well, my immigrant name is Elu. In English, it's L-U, or if you want to, I guess, go mainstream, you can call me Eli. Either way, good morning, WGS community, or good afternoon if you're on the other side of the world, like Australia or New Zealand. Um, I'm going to do a couple of sound bits, sound checks, sound samples. Uh, I've done one of these before, but it was through a Boss Katana, which I still have. But uh, right now I'm experimenting in stereo right now. So with the church not uh, reopening anytime soon, you know, we had some unfortunate circumstances of, of COVID within our congregation. So uh, it'll, it'll be a while, but with the help of the Lord, we'll, we'll open soon and you know, we'll be able to continue to minister to the souls. Not that we're limited to the building. You know, the church should, you know, be preaching the gospel outside these four walls. But, you know, there's there's just something about being with a church family that, you know, uh, you miss. But other than that, let me take you through the setup. Because I know you guys are curious about what pedals I'm going to use. Uh, obviously, I've already mentioned what I'm trying to do. You know, this is my first time running stereo here, you know, the last time I experienced stereo, I had a, our other guitarist, uh, he, al he also has a katana as well, and I, br I brought my katana over, and we ran stereo in separate parts of the room, and it just sounded fantastic, you know, so hopefully, I mean, I know I'm not going to achieve the same, uh, I guess, sound, because those were two separate amps, but you know, with this, with this black star, I am liking what I'm hearing. But at the end of the video, I'll give you some pros and some cons, what I think about it. You know, I'm not speaking on all 2x12s like the Roland JC. And I believe Blackstar has another model that has 2x12s that go in stereo, but I forgot what it's called. But uh, yeah, so here's the setup. So this is the amp that's in question right now. Blackstar ID Core 100. Once again, it's a 2x12 with a stereo effects loop here uh, I'm running on a clean channel uh, gain about maybe 10 11 o'clock volume almost all the way up I, I do like some mids just just because of the setup we have here at my church you know uh, the piano player the drummer and the bass player they're all family uh, so I'm I'm not going to say I'm the odd one out, but usually I'd be standing up there with this. But since COVID and since we were, we were planning to reopen uh, in June, but, you know, you know, the Lord had other plans. So they bumped me down over here. But I kind of like it. I, I have more space. You know, so, I mean, that if something would happen, I have an escape door right there. But aside from that, so, yeah, the amp. Uh I must, I, there is a disclaimer here. I am using an Android phone to record this, so maybe the sound quality may not be the best. Uh, I know I did ask a, a couple of people. I do have a Sennheiser E609 mic. Once again, I'm reaching out to anyone else who hasn't seen the post that I made earlier uh, this week. Where to put the mic? I mean, because I have two speakers in there. I'm assuming put it down the middle, but... I don't know what our sound engineer might think. Anyways, so that's the amp. This is the pedal board. Uh, it's not not too flashy, but you know, uh, by the grace of God, I, I I work at a company where you know they they pay us a living wage. There's a lot of overtime, and there's a lot of times where I come home tired. But I'm, I'm grateful to God that I have a job. I know that some of us in, in the working world, maybe with what's happening with COVID, you know, 
you've either been laid off or you've been have reduced hours you know I just want to reach on and extend even though this is a guitar page we also worship a living God and just I want to let you guys know that I'm praying for you if you guys are looking for a job or you're looking for more hours or uh, just need prayer in general you know don't let this uh, rig rundown video you know just be a rig rundown you know we're all here to lift each other's lift each other up you know as brothers and sisters in Christ I just I just wanted to throw that out there but with that said so everything starts from here in this patch bay uh, that's guitar that's the send from the amp and then mono and then stereo and initially from here the guitar We'll go into the polytune with the buffer that's on into the my, uh, the super comp from MXR. You know, yeah, you know, I know some of some are Keeley fans, other are uh, what's the other one? Cali, Cali 76. But I, I love what this does. Like, I mean, I got this, I want to say at the beginning of last year or the end of last year. Or, and so far, I mean, for 89 bucks, this this is pretty good. And then it goes into this wonderful thing. This is a staple to my board, is the Greer Lightspeed. This, first of all, I I was sold on this thing. I was I fell in love with this thing because I heard Danish Pete Honore from Andertons, and this thing sounded amazing. I mean. It just it just opens up so many tonal characteristics, it, especially if you stack it or if you have it at the end of the chain or just have a standalone. This thing's amazing, in my personal opinion. So yeah, so this is this technically would be my always-on pedal. You know, it's, it, it's just it's been a champ for me. Next, I I like to flip flop these. Obviously, you guys already know JHS makes some great stuff. I have the Kilt. Instead of the Red Remote, I have Saturn Works latching pedals. So this controls the Kilt. And then the Super Bolt here. Uh, the top one. I never really stack them together, just out of preference. Everything... In terms of stacking, I do it with the light speed, since most of the time this is always on. So these two are a great combination. I have the delay on. I should probably turn that off. You know, so this is first stage, initial sound. This would be my second stage. And then with the way the toggles are set up, I have everything down. So right now it's technically like a light to medium game over overdrive. And then with this, I go into my third stage. Uh, I mean, I have tried with the with all of these flipped up except this, and I, I like the fuzz. It was just, you know, just the way with our worship and setup is like we've never had a song where I actually have to utilize it, but it's there if I need it. And then obviously with the Super Bowl, I remember when I asked about this uh, a year ago or two, everyone told me just to crank it. And it's not cranked all the way, but it's cranked to the point where I, I love how it sounds. You know, especially when we're playing, uh, I, well, for the Spanish-speaking community, when we're playing Miel San Marcos or we're playing Espiritu en Veredad, you know, if you guys know who Chris Rocha or uh, Roberto Prado is, you know, they don't, I don't know if he has his pedal, but a lot of that sounds that they make when they play, I I honestly think it resembles what's coming out of here. Uh, but, yeah. So two latching switches for the two JHS pedals. And then from the bolt, it'll go into the Ernie ball. From the Ernie ball, it'll go straight to the front of the amp. Uh, I've been thinking about getting a buffer just because it's the volume and it's passive. But with just with a couple of tweaks of the knobs, I don't really think I need it. I used to have a Don Mini that I just sold. This, this I I bought about a couple months ago. 
because I have a friend that's on this page, Steven. Shout out to Steven. I love how this looks. And I mean, with the waggy pedal board that I have, I mean, the I, I have OCD when it comes to setting stuff up. So like the mini, the Dunlop mini volume only came up to here. So I had all this open space and it bothered me. So, I mean, I know that's probably not a responsible way to make a purchase just because, you know, the lack of, or too much space. But I mean, this fills in nicely. So that'll go to the front of the amp. And then for the effects, I have the Keeley Super Mod set at three for mod two, that's my chorus. And then mod one, I don't use very much, but if I do, it'll be for like the envelope filter or a tremolo. I haven't really experimented with all of it, but you know, it, it's, it's one of those things where like if I need it, it's there. From there, it's coming out stereo and it's going into the Walrus Mako Series D1. This I acquired from a good friend on the page. Shout out to Joshua Benton. Yeah, he had this thing and you know, I've been watching it. I had my eye on it for a couple of days and you know, the wife said, eh, you know what, go ahead and buy it. So I did. So far this thing has been absolutely amazing. This, the high fidelity and especially when I tried it in stereo when I was shopping for this amp and other amps, it was just, it was just amazing. Especially, I'll show you guys in a bit, but on the blue setting, the dual delay, that I have set up here for a specific song, Sea of Victory from Elevation Worship. I'll, I'll, I'll sample that in a bit. But, oh my goodness, this thing is absolutely amazing. You know, I, I do still have my TC Nova delay. It, it's hard for me to part from it, you know, because I, it's always been a workhorse. You know, but I have it just in case... You know, I want to change something. Or if, if I want to put two delays and take this off, then I could. But so far, this this has this thing has treated me well. I mean, the knobs and the the tweak knob, especially. You know, I, it it was a little overwhelming, but after messing with it and just running a couple of songs and saving the presets within the uh, three banks, I mean, it's just it's a blessing. And then last in the chain here. Uh, some of you guys may have not seen this in a while. It came out like early 2000s, but it's a TC Electronic Nova Reverb. I used to have a Strymon uh, Blue Sky when I, I bought it uh, when I was in New York for vacation about two years ago. But, you know, circumstances arose and I sold the Strymon Blue Sky. Till this day, do I regret selling it? Yeah, sort of, just because it was Strymon by name, but in terms of functionality and what I needed from from it sound wise, I don't know. For me, it's like my skill set at that time didn't merit have a stri having a Strymon, but then that's just me. But uh, this this so far has been great. I got it off of Reverb for about ninety bucks. I mean, it's not a Strymon, it's not an Empress, it's not a Boss Reverb, but it gets the job done. And if, if, if you're anything like me, the only people that are going to know the difference in this congregation is another guitarist, really. Uh, the only other guitarist we have in our church, he's on paternal leave, you know, but, you know, he's taking care of his son, enjoying his son. So right now I'm just the only one right now. But yeah, so these three effects will go into the stereo effect loop. So this is my first time experimenting with that. But anyways... This is uh, the crown jewel of everything that I have. This was originally a stock Squire Telecaster that I got from Sam Ash a couple years ago. I was like maybe, I think 23, 24. Right now I'm 29. And I just modded everything, well, nearly everything about it. The last thing I have to change are the saddles here. I, I want to put graph tech string savers, but that's for another time. Seymour Duncan uh, hot rail pickups. This is an aftermarket 920D uh, 
volume knob and tone knob and this three-way selector. Uh, I use I used to use Diodario rounded third uh, 10 gauge strings and then I saw a video from Rick Beto and Rhett Shaw about the 9 gauge and I'm starting to love the 9 gauge. Groove gear, fret wrap. I used to have Spurzel locking tuners and then I switched to hip shots. And so far they've they've just been so smooth into tuning, especially with the ratio that they have, 18 to 1, I believe. And then lastly, aftermarket Warmoth cus Warmoth custom neck. This I had to wait about two months for them to make. I think I ordered it in 2018. I remember as soon as uh work gave us our Christmas bonus, this was the first thing I purchased with it. I mean not the whole bonus, but you know, I, I put block inlays, uh, uh, I think it was 6105 uh, frets, uh, graph tech nut, and 10 to 16 compound radius. So yeah, everything's being powered by a Furman power conditioner, or power strip. Shout out to Steven once again. He sent, he sent me the link to the deal that uh, Pro Audio Star was having. My chair and my hat, not that it's essential, but I have a chair because I don't like standing as much. Big bag and all that. Anyways, yeah, so I'm going to give a little bit of sound samples. I'm sorry this took about 15 minutes to explain, but, uh, you know, I don't want to be a stranger this, to this community, you know. You know, we're all real people. Some of us are weekend warriors. Some of us are pro worship guitarists. And some of us just like to play just to play, you know, so... Uh, hopefully it sounds good through the phone, once again, because it's not mic'd up and I don't have like a pro uh, recording thing like Ableton or Two Notes Torpedo or any of that. But hopefully uh, this is a blessing to you guys. So let me just set this up here. Hopefully you guys can see what's going on because I'm literally using a makeshift uh, stand. Alright. So right now everything's in stereo. Well, obviously to get everything out of the way, uh, let me turn a couple of things. Clean tone. fidgeting through the clean warm and the clean bright channel. I sort of like my amps bright just because of the uh, the way the worship band set up. I, it cuts through the mix a little bit better for me. Just in this church, I haven't played at other churches yet uh, or as of recent. So I mean, town, the tone samples vary, you know, just like with anything, you know, Acoustics, you got the flooring, what the, the, the walls are made out of. If you're a sound engineer, you, you understand what I'm saying. Yeah, so clean tone. Next pickup. Uh, I do like to play a lot of jazz chords, just because it's, if, if you guys know who Jonathan Butler is, amazing guitarist, he's also a southpaw, a left-hander.
terms of dirt, like I said, light speed is usually always on. Uh, There's an entrance to that song that I love using with uh, this, and it goes a little something like this. by Miel San Marcos, as you guys may have already caught on, 
our church is bilingual, so I play a lot of songs in Spanish and in English. But it has an entrance to the song that uh, Chris Rocha plays, and it, it goes a little bit something like this. previous this song has a lot of meaning to me and if this song has a meaning to you it what it means to me is that uh, a small little portion about myself is that me and my wife uh, one day we would like to be parents but obviously medical compl complications uh, fast forward you know we're still praying and waiting for a blessing to uh, come into our life I don't want to go too much into detail, you know, but, uh, you know, every time I hear this song, I get emotional about it, and I always love playing this song because it's like I'm praying or praying and playing this song over my life, you know, because I know one day God is going to grant my wife and I that blessing. So if you guys have heard this song before, you guys know how the intro goes. Uh, dual delay and stereo amazing It's a different beast, it's a different kind of game, a different kind of sound. But, uh, and at the end of the day, I do have my criticisms about this amp. You know, as guitarists, we're always uh, seeking the tone in our head. So, my criticisms about this amp, uh, I do really love how my katana sounds compared to this amp. But then again, I just bought this amp and I haven't used it in a band setting yet. So it's, I can't fully say that it is better than the katana, but know that I really love how the katana sounds. In terms of the Black Star, when I do use it or when and hopefully soon, but safely, you know, that it cuts through the mix great, that, you know, hopefully it fills up the room. If I play here or at, or at one of our sister churches. Uh, some of the pros, obviously, you know, I'm running the stereo effects loop. It sounds great. Black Star for this specific amp, it has super wide stereo setup. So if you were to use the onboard effects, super wide stereo setup, or the stereo effects loop is just, especially for dual delay, so, those of you who have your timelines or your alter egos or your Boss DD500s or the DD200, Strymon pedals like the Dig or the Tape Echo, uh, I think it's El Cap or the Walrus, it just, it sounds amazing. 
I mean, for a 2x12 going stereo, to me, it sounds great. You know, does it defeat having two amps, like two katanas that I've tried before? Maybe. But, I mean, in, in terms of what I'm running, eh. You know, the only, pe the only people that are going to hear it is myself and the sound engineer. Uh, another thing I do have to criticize, it is a bit heavy, and it's a closed back but I don't think it should affect the tone very much. I mean, my katana is open back, and I mean, I don't really hear a difference, but the reason why I would want an open back is because I used to be able to put the power cable and the power conditioner in the back of my amp, and it'd be a lot easier to carry. So far, I just have to carry a guitar, pedal board, and amp, so it's a little bit heavier, but... I mean, for, this, for, the, for the price and the tone, I honestly believe it's worth it. Uh, once again, I just bought this, so I still have a lot of fidgeting to do. You know, I don't want to make a judgment call on the first five minutes just because I didn't like how it sounded plugged in or straight in. You know, when I tried it at uh, my local GC, well, not my local GC, I had to drive 45 minutes actually to Lake Forest. Tried it there, it sounded great. I tried it at my living room in my little flat, sounded great. I tried it here, took a little bit more fidgeting because of the acoustics of the church. Right now it sounds great. You know, one last thing, I don't know if you guys can hear it. There is that little, it's like a little whine or a little tiny a pinch of noise. Um, if I do have to mic this up, I don't know how I'm gonna get rid of it. But if I don't, then, hey, I can probably get away with it. Yeah, with that said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for taking your time to watch this video. Uh, forgive me if it's a lot, and forgive me, admins on WGS, if this is not allowed. I just, I just promised people on the previous post I'd post something up. So hopefully this is a blessing to you. I'm praying for you guys, even though I haven't met some of you in person or we haven't commented or, or talked. Send me a message. You know, I'm, I'm the world's okayest guitarist, as some of us might be. Uh, feel free to reach out. You know, we're all brothers and sisters in Christ. So hopefully, you know, if we do meet one day, hey, you know, let's fellowship. Let's have coffee, have in and out. I mean, if you're in California, if not, then, you know, we'll, we'll go somewhere local to where you're at. But yeah, be blessed, guys.